is up welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new my name is Kat today I'm going to be doing a review of the Buffalo Games Amy Stewart Skate Night 1000 piece puzzle this puzzle was quite interesting and quite a lot of fun so without further ado let's get on with the time lapse <laughs> So what did we think about it? It was very bright and very colorful and a lot of fun to put together. I do have to say after we did the borders, we were a little bit scared because there is quite a lot of small things and not a lot of big things. Um, the biggest thing obviously was the skates. So we were a little bit overwhelmed and kind of worried on how we were going to complete this one. Our strategy that we did with it was we actually just sat there and continued to sort out pieces and my mom just kept handing me smaller things for me to do and then she would do smaller things and then we worked up to be able to do the actual skates and once we did the skates it was pretty much done the pieces actually fit pretty well together i personally have nothing really against buffalo games i actually prefer to do buffalo games puzzles over some of the higher end brands i think the pieces fit better and not necessarily the quality may be better than them but to me, fit is over quality. As for puzzle desks, there was not a lot of puzzle desks, which we always enjoy. So do we see ourselves doing this puzzle again? The answer is no. If we didn't resell them, yeah, we probably would. But since we do resell them and do pretty well with reselling our puzzles, this is one that we didn't necessarily see ourselves doing in the future. We maybe would, maybe wouldn't. But we decided let's just go ahead and part ways with it so somebody else could enjoy it. I personally love Amy Stewart designs. They are super pretty and colorful, which is designs that I particularly like to do. So I was a little bit upset that we decided to sell this one, but I knew there was no need to hold on to it. It was a pretty neat one, and if you guys want to pick it up, message us on our Instagram at Puzzling Through Life, and we can talk about shipping, etc. So I just wanted to say super quickly before I end this video, I am not going to have a set schedule on days that I'm going to upload. Um, I was going to, and I was saying that I was trying to upload Wednesdays and Fridays, but with school, it's just kind of when I can film and when I can't film. Um, puzzles are going to take me and my mom a lot longer to do now because I have schoolwork to do now just about every night and I have class all day. Um, so I'm just gonna try to upload two videos a week. Like I said, if it gets to be too much, I'm just going to upload one review and then I might do a time lapse. I was just gonna upload a time lapse today, but I decided to go ahead and review this one because this was one I wanted to actually get out for a review you guys and not just a time lapse. My thing is that I want to put out quality videos for you guys and I don't want to feel rushed when I'm filming or feel pressured to do a puzzle. Um, I'm just going to try to do the best that I can and try to get out as many videos as I can for you guys. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.